Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some formation landings and takeoffs with my friend Jughead, who was a former F-15 instructor. Also we'll show you some of airport landing and takeoffs and a Taylor craft operating off airport. This is a formation landing in Pumping Patch in Washington. From here looks easy, the lead airplane have to be aware of the pursuit airplane but I will show you how much work is from the pilot's perspective also here is the link if you want to see it from Jughead YouTube channel which is very good he did a video about these landings on the pumping patch Jughead picks me up on formation, then he will switch to the other side. As a lead airplane, you have to be aware of the airplane following. And the work is harder for the airplane following. You can hear the power setting changes, adding flaps, reducing flaps to keep up with the airplane in front because we're going to do a, an approach through a bunch of trees so the speed has to be changed constantly. Jughead likes to fly with Dakota, his dog, the black lab. He gets excited when he's low because he knows he's going to go in the ground and go to play. So he will start barking. So as you can see there is lots of power settings Jorge is using, also flap settings to slow him down or get to more speed again. You can hear Dakota is very excited in the background. Here is an outside view of our base turn over the river. Here is where it gets more challenging because it's kind of narrow, so I have to be aware and to the left side to leave room for Jughead. The earth strip is pretty smooth, but there is a dip, so I'm aiming for halfway down the runway or touchdown. Now this is another formation takeoff and then a landing. This is in Skagit, Washington. On this approach, Jughead has plenty of room to be side by side next to my airplane, not to worry about trees or nothing. Cockpit, and you can see Jughead on the left side, it passes me once I land. As a former F 15 instructor, Jughead is very good at formation, he's very experienced. There's not many pilots I will trust to fly formation with. Of all of them, I think Jughead is the best. Here is an approach into Skycomis gravel bars in Washington. This one was very tricky because Jughead is on the left side and there were a bunch of trees. So he had not much room. Still, he did a great job. You see the trees here, and Jughead is somewhere there on the left side. Not much room for him. This is an approach. 
approach into a gravel bar in Skagi, at the end of the lead to Dakota, who will get excited once he figures out he's close to the ground. This time the gravel bar has enough room for both of us to land on the same time. This is a takeoff from Skycomis gravel bars. You can hear the motor and Joke working the throttle. You can see he always managed to do a great job. Next I'm going to show you some of airport operations in the Cessna 170 and a Taylor craft, which is an amazing little airplane. I start the takeoff roll with 20 degrees of flaps, then add 10 more for 30, lift off, then ground effect and reduce again to 20 for climbing out. 30 degrees produces the most lift for getting in the air but too much drag for climbing. This is why I get in ground effect and then once I get the speed I reduce back to 20. Now I'm going to turn into the river and do my final approach into the ground. 40 degrees of flux. Here I'm controlling my speed with the yoke and my altitude with power. Every movement you see on the yoke is to control the speed. This particular gravel bar is pretty smooth. I come slow. The rocks are small, so it won't beat up the airplane, but anyway, I like to come slow, which also takes care of the airplane. This is a very nice Taylo craft. You have to do the start by hand because it has no battery, no starter. But it really is a good performer. It's very light, only 65 horsepower, but you can see it here it's doing off airport operations. Fun airplane, very economical to fly, and it's a great option. in a gravel bar in Skycomish River. This one has bigger rocks. I try to come slow. 40 degrees of flaps and power to control the descent rate and altitude. And control it, uh, speed with pitch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like, press your like and subscribe. And if you want to support Bar Country 182, please join me on Patreon. I will be very grateful. It is very easy to join, to be a patron of Bar Country 182. Go to the YouTube channel on the right hand side. There is the link, and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Bar Country 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry182 channel. 
there is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.